NVIDIA's retarded engineering. In stock, memory modules temperatures get as high as 110 degrees. Then thermal throttling starts, GPU loses its performance, but not only that, well, fans get crazy, very loud and never shut up. But if you think that it affects only cryptocurrency miners, you are wrong. In everyday usage, the problem also takes place. Somehow I ended up buying aluminum oxide pads instead, which are also ceramic insulators, but not as high th thermal conductivity as nitride ones, but still much higher than conventional thermal pads. And stacking two of them together would make uh, 1.25 millimeter thick, which is supposed thickness of stock thermal pads, which are inside of my 3070 Ti. But inside those are not thermal pads. Those are scraps of some floor rug, which was used to clean some Chinese factory toilets and then recycled into something that eventually was put inside of a new expensive like hell NVIDIA graphics card instead of actual thermal pads. After replacing that piece of cloth with a sandwich of two aluminum oxide pads on top of each other, I saw a very good result. Memory temperatures dropped from 110 to 70 degrees. And uh, that fact I would call an absolute win if it wouldn't be a loss. Fans went crazy as never before. And the moment I run it, well... Those pads were supposed to be exactly 0.625 millimeters thick, but reality is often disappointing. Its thickness ranged from 0.40 something to 0.80 something millimeter. In this particular case, it meant that some of memory modules had a contact and some of them did not. Also, GPU did not have any contact as well. Thermal paste on the GPU was almost intact when I disassembled the video card to check what's going on. Next two days, I wasted trying to correct the thickness. So there is a even contact on every modules and on the GPU as well. I had to buy that diamond cutter thingy because it turned out that regular sandpaper is completely useless since ceramic is very hard material, which is also the reason why this problem appeared in the first place. You just can't squeeze it, not even on a fraction of a millimeter. So you must know exact distance between memory pads and heatsink. And you must be extremely precise. I have no idea how many times I actually reassembled the video card to check if the thickness is right yet or not. But the moment GPU temperatures became normal and memory temperatures was going to 110 degrees instantly, I got a notion that it's time to stop that experiment. Uh, I removed too much of ceramic and now there was no contact between heatsink and memory modules anymore. Though there was a contact with GPU now. So I had to repeat the whole process again. But in order to keep myself in a reasonably sane condition, I decided to put that stock factory floor rug back inside and called it a day. But prior to that, I wasted another half an hour trying to clean all that mess caused by thermal paste. So I call this experiment that ceramic mode or whatever you want to call it an absolute bullshit which is just not worth spending time and money on it but there's a very good foolproof alternative to all of this and it's probably not what you think though it's a topic for the next video thank you for watching